All right, this is interesting, actually. Intel is reportedly working on a new x86 architecture. It has been a long time since Intel's created a whole new micro architecture, with the recent CPU designs being based off of their Sandy Bridge series CPUs, which released back in 2011. Since Intel has released the Ivy Bridge, Haswell, Broadwell, Skylake, Cavi Lake, you get the point. But all of these releases have been evolutions of the Intel Sandy Bridge design, with each generation improving different aspects of the CPU from power consumption to minor IPC increases. Right now, it looks like Intel will be ending their Sandy Lake series of CPU designs in 2019 with a Tiger Lake, with a CPU design like Cannon Lake and Coffee Lake coming before it. This means that Intel needs to create a new x86 CPU architecture with today being the first day that we have heard of Intel's next generation CPU architecture. With AMD Zen and Intel Sandy Bridge, we know that a major architectural leap can deliver some significant performance gains, which means that we should expect some good things from Intel's next CPU architecture. Right now, it seems that Intel plans on creating a new core design that saves die space and delivers enhanced levels of power consumption and performance. One of the biggest changes that Intel plans to make with this new core design is removing some older, unused SIMDs and hardware remains, improving full x86 backwards compatibility, but creating a more streamlined, power-friendly CPU design. While the removal of these old features may seem like a huge problem, they can be rectified in software via emulation. Right now, Intel is working hard to emulate the x86 on ARM and vice versa. So, a lot of these issues may have already been resolved in-house. This new architecture may be an attempt from Intel to create something that will finally be suitable for both the ultra mobile market and desktop servers, desktop slash servers. With increased performance per watt and a streamlined cheaper production design, Intel's new architecture is expected to release late 2019 or 2020 after Intel's Tiger Lake CPUs. Honestly, I'm a little surprised. I No, I'm not surprised. This is basically Intel getting off of their ass. It really is. It's like AMD came out with Zen. The AMD came out swinging with Zen. Everybody's on the Zen boat. Everyone's on the Zen Kool-Aid. Even I've taken a few sips. I mean, honestly, I want Zen to do well. We need it to do well because now Intel is finally doing something with their CPUs versus just giving us the same rehash stuff over and over again. Here's a uh, 5 to 10% increase on your next CPU there, buddy. Same price. It's like, uh, oh boy, whoop de doo This may also fucking drop the market out of Intel's... Uh, six core and eight core processors the eight core ones are, are just ridiculous a thousand dollars thank god for amd doing something big amd making a move has now forced intel's hand to actually move on and if anything intel probably had this thing on the back burner for a while like eh, we'll do something with it when amd finally does something for now we'll just keep making that money hmm raking it in like activision did with call of duty oh well what do you think i mean personally this doesn't surprise me one bit I mean, it's about time Intel decided to do something. It's sad that they needed, you know, AMD to push them a little bit. And I'm sure someone will go in the comments section and go, well, that's business, faggot. You know, you're getting mad at them for just doing what a business does. Why does everyone have to protect businesses and defend businesses for making billions of dollars? What is with that? Really, I don't understand it. Could someone tell me why would you sit there and go, well, you know, they had the right to pick their asses because... They were doing so well and they cornered the market. Capitalism, faggot. How can you be so happy with capitalism? You're not rich, dude. It's like, yeah, capitalism. And I'm going to go back to flipping fries. Capitalism. But when I get my shit together and make my Facebook rip off, I'm going to be rich too. Mark Zuckerberg, 2012. Wait, wrong year. 2020. All right, I'm done fucking around. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Feel free to give your two cents in the comment section. I'm glad Zen is changing everything. Now computers can move a bit more forward, honestly, as far as desktop CPUs go. You know what I mean. And I guess this will also trickle down to the mobile. You know, whatever. Everybody benefits, I guess, from there being com competition. I mean, that's the whole point. When there's competition, businesses compete for your money and try to give you something better than just whatever the fuck they pull out of their ass.